the automatic digital computer, of which CSI CIRAC is a very early example, was initially the product of the pooling of ideas by the mathematician and the electronic engineer who brought the ideas of the mathematician to physical realization. The product of that interdisciplinary marriage was the first fully automatic electronic digital computer manufactured in Australia, CIRAC, built in 1950, those halcyon days when Australia was one of the leaders of technological change. Designed at CSIRO's Division of Radio Physics, CIRAC could store a modest 756 items of data, which it could operate on about a thousand times a second. Thank you. Developed by Trevor Piercy, CIRAC, a pre-transistor computer, eventually became obsolete because problems grew too large to be held within its memory and the computer became too time-consuming to run. But this rather intimidating yet innovative Australian computer survived 13 years of use before it fell victim to change. And today we live in the world of user-friendly computers, where small is big and where Australia is invariably the buyer. So from Japan, meet the Seiko 2000 series wristwatch computer. The VDU is the watch face. The keyboard and calculator with which the watch interfaces will slip into a pocket and the controller programmed with a modified basic computer language is lighter and thinner than a cheap airport paperback. Together, they make up the smallest personal computer system in the world. The wristwatch has all the normal functions of a watch, including the alarm, a stopwatch with split timing, and a calendar. It also has two memory systems, A and B, which each store a thousand characters and work like a portable paperless diary. In interfacing with the keyboard, the watch is clamped on a transmission circuit, allowing data to be transferred electromagnetically from the keyboard into the watch. In this configuration, the watch's two memory systems can be reprogrammed. During the day, as new phone numbers are gathered, new addresses, new appointments, they're all dumped into the watch. The watch also interfaces with the controller. And here, you can have some fun. The modified basic computer language allows some programming to be performed. The watch's memory systems can also be filled and the system's calculating ability is increased. A number of games can be transferred from this game pack into the watch. A fairly mindless pursuit, except when you want to get to know your computer. Now this game is for gamblers, a modification of an extremely popular pinball game in Japan. And the computer has a printer too, so that when necessary, anything can be stored on paper if the limited memory capacity of the system is emptied. But before you rush off and buy one, my advice is wait. This first generation wristwatch computer, although it can interface with any other computer, the NEC personal computer, for example, the actual memory capacity of this is limited to just 4,000 characters. Wait for the second generation. That will be smaller in size, bigger in capacity.